Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a first impressions video. I've gotten a few new bags recently and I have been bombarded with questions about them. So I thought I would cover the most frequently asked about bags and try to answer some of your questions. I have three here today. So I have my Tory Burch Kira, my Senrev Aluna, and my Mulberry Mini Alexa. I obviously can't do a full on review, so I'm not gonna be covering wear and tear or durability. I haven't had the bags long enough to discuss that, but I will be talking about my initial thoughts, what can fit inside, as well as some mod shots as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up is my Tory Burch Kira bag. I did finally get this in the mail. I find it hilarious that during Cyber Week, I was like, oh, I might get it in time for Cyber Monday. No, it took three weeks, so it took a very, very long time to get to me. I am so happy that I finally have it. I don't think I've ever received so many questions and comments and messages as I have done about this bag. I've been so surprised, um, but I am happy to try and answer them. Um, most of the questions just seem to be about how I like it and my general thoughts, um, which is what I'm gonna be covering now. So initial first impressions are the leather is gorgeous and smushy and so soft. The color is just as pretty as I was hoping. Color isn't really a surprise to me because I did get the smaller one for my mum, which is why I I kind of ordered this one. It's a very, very close match with my Chanel Jumbo and I adore that color and I thought this was very similar and it is true to form, very, very similar indeed. You do also have the gold hardware. If you have seen the Chanel Jumbo in real life, I'd say that this hardware is a bit more yellow and kind of a bit brighter and the overall leather color is just a little bit more blue but overall it's very, very similar indeed. So it is a very close match and I do think it is absolutely beautiful. So it just opens up with a button closure. It is quite a strong magnet as well. On the inside, it is divided with a zip compartment. You have a zip on the back and then on the other side, you have two pockets as well to put in cards or whatever else you want. It is lined in fabric, which does keep the weight down, which I do like. And then you have the double loops right there. And it is quite a roomy, spacious bag. I will be showing you exactly what can fit inside, but it is definitely a very, very generous size. I will say that one thing that immediately struck me is that the leather is very, very soft and smushy, which is very nice from a kind of just touch point of view. You know, it feels very nice to the touch, but a concern that is very present for me is how it's going to wear over time. If any of you have this bag, because I know it's not a new style, let me know how it's worn for you, if you've experienced any sagging or anything like that. I would love to know, and I'm sure other people considering this bag would also love to know. I've only taken this out once, I kind of prioritize wearing it so I could do this video. Um, but I did find that when I just wanted to quickly close the bag, and I didn't have it completely full, which I didn't that time, I did have to kind of press down quite a bit. And the leather is smushy enough that it kind of bounces back. But I do wonder over time if that's going to have a negative impact on the structure. So time will tell. Um, it is definitely a lot softer. If you have a Chanel Jumbo or if you kind of tried one on, you'll know it's a very, very structured and rigid bag. This is completely the opposite. It's very soft and very smushy but it's also still totally gorgeous and lovely. So, so far the one time I used it, I really liked it. I think it's beautiful. I also like the fact that it looks very, very dressy, but it doesn't seem so fancy that you could only wear it to like a really fancy occasion. It's just the kind of bag that's gonna look good with a whole ton of outfits and just make every outfit that little bit better if that makes sense. So. I'm really excited about it. I'm really happy with my purchase. Um, if you have any knowledge or experience of the kind of wear over time, let me know, please. Again, I would love to hear about it. Um, but yeah, so far, happy with my purchase, but I will definitely keep you guys updated about the wear and tear. So first up, I have my Tory Burch Kira bag, and this is a very, very roomy bag. As you can see, I have tried to fill it full, but to be honest, there is still a lot of room at the top there. I just kind of ran out of items to fit inside, but you could certainly fit in an umbrella or a water bottle if you wanted to. So inside this bag, I do have a camera. I do also have a larger bottle of hand sanitizer. I have a small compact wallet. I have my iPhone, a key holder. I also fit in a card holder as well, just to show you exactly how much can fit inside. A pair of sunglasses, a lipstick, a face mask, 
my earphones, a compact, and also a mini hairbrush as well. And that is everything. As you can see, it is a very, very generous amount, but as I mentioned, I could still fit more items inside. I did also manage to find a water bottle at last. I still couldn't find an umbrella, but I wanted to quickly show you that a water bottle fits inside of that any problems, and obviously you can fit in way more after that as well. Next up is the Senrev Aluna, and I have been loving this little bag so much. It is so cute, and in contrast to the Tory Burch Kira, this is a much more rigid and structured bag, even though it is quite tiny. So it does open up with a magnetic closure, and it is quite a strong magnet as well. Not so much that it's difficult to open, but it does make closing it very easily because it does just kind of detect the button and fall into place, which I really like. And then you do have extra security with the zipper, a very very smooth zipper as well always a detail I appreciate and then on the inside you have that beautiful blue lining and then there's actually quite a bit of organization even though it's quite a small bag so you do have that empty space in the middle on the back side you have one pocket a loop for a pen or whatever else you want to put in there and also a little keychain as well and then on the other side you have a larger pocket one feature that I'm a huge fan of, which I mentioned when I first got it, is the magnetic closure right there. So you do have the zipper which extends all the way out, but it fastens right there with a magnet. So it just snaps back into place so you have a very neat silhouette. And I just think that is genius. I feel like all bags should have this. Just such a great detail. And then you do have the adjustable strap as well. So you can wear this a few ways. You can wear it cross body, you can wear it on the shoulder, and you can also wear it as a mini backpack. It is a very small bag though, and I tried it on as a mini backpack, and I feel like it looks silly on me as a mini backpack. It's just a bit too small, and um, so I'm really only wearing this as a crossbody, but if you are more on the petite side, or if you just like very, very mini bags, then you could definitely wear this as a backpack, and it is very comfortable like that. I love it as a crossbody most of all. It is very, very comfortable to wear. I also really like how slender the leather straps are, which I'm not always a fan of, but because of the shape, I just think it looks really elegant and I just think it's a really, really striking, lovely bag, which is still very functional as well. I'm gonna show you what fits inside, but it can fit in all of my essentials. And because of that added height, you can fit a fair bit in. And I just think this is fantastic. It's not too heavy, very lightweight considering it is a full leather bag. The detail is beautiful. The hardware is super shiny and glossy. And I just think this is gorgeous. So very happy so far, still early days. So happy to do an update or review if you guys wanna see that. But so far, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now showing you what can fit inside my Senrev Aluna, and this is definitely a mini bag, but I can fit in all of my essentials. So inside I do have my black silk face mask. I then also have my iPhone as well, which of course I always carry with me. I then have my pink Chanel card holder, which is currently what I'm using at the moment. I then have a hand sanitizer, which is a slightly more slimline one, really useful for mini bags. I also have my key holder, and then I also fit in my favorite dual lipstick as well. And that is everything that I fit inside the Aluna. It can fit in everything that I need, but you can also swap things out. So I have also used it with my compact wallet, and it fits great as well. Next up is my Mulberry Alexa, and I mentioned in other videos how much I've been enjoying and loving using this bag, and I really have. I've been using this bag a lot. It is very, very comfortable to wear. It is full leather, but despite that, it's still fairly lightweight. I don't find it to be overly heavy. Even when I fill it with items and the capacity is very decent, I don't find it too heavy. The leather strap is very, very comfortable to wear, partly because the leather is so soft. I go on about Mulberry Leather a lot but I do think that their leather is always very very nice quality and I've just been really enjoying using it. As you can see the capacity looks pretty decent. It is pretty much just a wide open space. You just have the one pocket on the back there and that's it. You do also have a pebbled leather base and then you also have that leather carrying through to the pocket but the rest of the lining I'm guessing it's microfiber but it could be suede. I will try and check that and pop it in the description section um, but yeah 
it pretty simple on the inside, but you can fit a very decent amount. The strap is fully adjustable, which I always think is so great. And then you can also take off the straps very, very easily with this keychain right here. So very easy, very functional to wear, and just a really, really well-designed little bag. So in terms of my one little design niggle, it is how difficult it is to close. And I don't kind of properly close it every time. And to be honest, the number of bags where I do kind of fully close my bags aren't that many. Usually I will do enough to make it as secure as I think I need to. And then that's it, you know, I won't kind of buckle everything and snap everything closed. Um, this one obviously has the two buttons and you also have the turn lock. But my issue is that when you go to close it and you try and turn the turn lock, you really have to press down in order to get it all the way through and then turn it. And because of that, I'm already seeing it begin to dent a little bit there. Not my favorite thing because I love this bag so I want it to look pristine for as long as possible and that is definitely something I've noticed. So to be honest, I don't really use the turn lock that much because I do find that I really have to press it in to get it closed. That said, the magnetic buttons are strong enough that I don't think you necessarily need to turn it all the time. But that is definitely something to keep in mind. The leather is gorgeous and smushy and so lovely. But the flip side of that is that you might get a little bit of denting or sagging if you do keep pushing it in. So I wish that had somehow been fixed. I'm not really sure what they could have done to prevent that. Um, maybe made the front bit a little bit more structured, but that is definitely something I've noticed and that I'm aware of. That said, it really hasn't impacted my enjoyment of the bag. I just love this to bits and I think it looks so great with a whole variety of outfits. I've worn this with my most casual and running outfits all the way through to some slightly dressier outfits. And I think it looks really wonderful with everything. So very, very happy with it so far. And if you are considering this bag, I have very much been liking it, but I would definitely keep in mind that turn lock and how much that might potentially annoy you. For me, I can live with it because I like it a lot, um, but that is definitely something to keep in mind. And then finally, I do have my Mulberry Mini Alexa, and this can actually fit a very large amount for such a mini bag. I tried to fill it full, but to be honest, there is still a lot of room at the top here, so you could definitely fit in some extra items if you wanted to. Inside, I have a pair of sunglasses. I also have my hairbrush. I have my trusty LV key holder. I have my iPhone. I have my Louis Vuitton small compact wallet. I have a kind of medium, slightly larger size bottle of hand sanitizer. I have my face mask, a compact, a lipstick, and then also my earphones as well. So as you can see, a very, very decent amount. And as I mentioned before, the bag was not full at all. So you can certainly play around, swap items in and out. Unfortunately, it can't fit in my longer Louis Vuitton wallet. It is just a smidge too short, but there is still plenty of room. So you can definitely play around with different items and fit a very decent amount inside. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I managed to answer all of your initial questions about the bags. If you have any other questions, then let me know in the comment section. If you like these first impressions videos, please do give us a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.